Joining us now live from Brussels is Daniel Gross, uh, Director General of the Centre for Euro Policy Studies. Daniel, good morning. Um, just looking at uh, the, uh, that, that report on pensions, it does really appear that Greece is going to have to be even more austere and cut um, public services even further. Well, that was clear from the beginning. The EU's adjustment program was just not credible. Mm. The easy tasks, the easy cuts were made this year, but we all know that uh, social security spending is around 30% of GDP, and that's where you get the major uh, savings, and that's where they have to cut, if not now, or then tomorrow, so they might as well do it today so that they can actually convince financial markets that they are serious. But isn't there a danger of a vicious circle here? Because as workers get even more angry and protesters come onto the streets, it becomes even less likely that other people are going to want to invest in Greece. Tourism is a mainstay of Greece at the moment. Um, as the rest of us in Europe see that, that, those pictures on our television screens as opposed to Greece's beautiful beaches, it doesn't help their cause at all, does it? Uh, exactly, that is true. But uh, the individual worker thinks uh, first and foremost about his own uh, pocket, of course. and that's why he goes on strike. He doesn't think about the country. It should have been done years ago, and now it's a crisis. But sometimes a crisis is also a moment where you can do things which formerly were unthinkable. Mm. So maybe it's better to have a short period of lots of strikes, discontent, but in the end the government might be able to get it through, and then when calm returns, the tourists will return as well. What kind of additional measures do you think that the EU and the IMF have to make sure that Greece impose? The question is whether they actually have the courage to do so, because it's clear that apart from the cut in pensions, which would anyway become operative in a couple of years only, they have to cut social benefits today, mm. and they have to do something else which will be crucial, namely to have a cut in wages, not just in the public sector, but in the private sector. Without a cut in wages, without a cut in wage costs, exports can't get going. And if you don't have any source of growth in the economy, it will just go into a downward spiral and the Greek government will never be able to balance its books. Daniel, tough times. Thank you very much indeed.